Hello everybody and welcome to my top five. Now I have a bit of a confession to make because this top five is about my top five favorite movies but it's not gonna be in order of my favorite movie to my fifth favorite movie. It's just gonna be five movies that I really enjoyed and could watch again because I'm not that much of a movie buff. Like I enjoy watching movies like everyone I'm sure enjoys watching movies but I'm not one of those people that's like oh this movie got mediocre reviews and it looks kind of crappy, but I'm gonna watch it anyway because I love movies. Like, that's just not me because an hour and a half or two hours is a really, 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 really long time. And if a movie doesn't capture my attention within the first like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go play video games now. Because truth of the matter is, I would prefer to be playing video games over watching a movie any day. Any day I would take video games over movies. So if you don't catch my attention, I'm gonna leave you to go play some games. That's just how it is. So keep that in mind. It's not in order of favorite to least favorite or whatever. It's just five movies that I really enjoyed at the time or recently or whatever. So that's kind of just what it is. Just keep that in mind and don't hate me for not being a super movie buff, please. Okay, thank you. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> coming in at number five is Source Code. I know it's kind of random, but the reason that this came in at number five is because it came to TV about, I want to say about seven months ago or six months ago. Maybe a little bit early. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with my times. I don't even know what day it is right now But it, it was about five six seven months ago that it came to TV and my mother had recorded it So I was eating breakfast and I was like I just want something to look at so I just threw on source code because there was nothing else to watch and before I knew it, it, like an hour had gone by and I was actually really enjoying the movie. And this happens to me so rarely that I'm watching a movie and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep watching it. I don't wanna go and do something else right now. So that's why Source Code definitely has to be on the list because it's a recent movie that actually managed to keep my attention, which is rare. Coming in at number four is The Ring. I love horror movies and I love horror games. I don't know why. I just like to be scared, I guess. But The Ring, I actually went to go see in the movie theater twice, I think it was. Two or three times. No, I think it was just twice. And it's one of those movies that kind of sticks with you after you leave the movie theater. So anytime I kept seeing on the TV it going like... I was like, oh my god, she's gonna come and kill me, I'm gonna die. It's just one of those movies that sticks with you after you keep watching it, which is what I really, really, really love about horror movies. Like, the ones that just give me jump scares throughout the movie, they're cool, but after I stop watching it, I'm like, who cares, right? But movies like The Ring and The Grudge and Paranormal Activity, they kind of stick with you after you stop watching the movie, which is why I love The Ring so much. I really did enjoy The Ring. It, it scared me for like a few days afterwards, I can't lie. I can't lie. <laughs> Coming in at number three is Thor. Thor is another recent movie that I just really, really, really enjoyed. It had like the perfect amount of action, the perfect amount of comedy, the perfect amount of romance. I didn't ever feel like, okay, you're just throwing CG in my face now. This is stupid. I didn't feel like the love story was taking over. I didn't feel like it was being too comedic. It was just perfect. It had the perfect amount of everything. And actually, all of the Avengers movies I tend to really enjoy. I will go and watch an Avengers movie in the movie theater and know that I will not waste my money because even if it's not the best of the Avengers movies, it will be good. It will be worth my money. So Thor definitely had to be mentioned at number three. Coming in at number two is Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I was sitting here and I was thinking, okay, all of the movies that I tend to really, really, really love are animated, Disney, Pixar, those kind of movies. So I was thinking, what animated movie did I really love the most and could watch again any day? And it was Monsters, Inc. There's so many of them that I absolutely adore and could watch over and over and over again. But Monsters, Inc., man, Boo is so cute. She's so cute. She's just so cute. <laughs> And it's just funny. It's lighthearted. I can watch that movie if I'm in a bad mood. I can watch that movie if I'm in a good mood. So it's just an overall really awesome movie to watch. If you haven't seen Monsters, Inc., you have to go and see it or buy it or download it. I don't care if you illegally download it. Just watch it because it's a really awesome movie. I love that movie to death. And coming in at number one, this probably is my favorite movie of all time. I know they're not in any particular particular order. The ones before one are a little, eh, they could go anywhere. But this is definitely number one. My favorite movie of all time is 
Saw. <laughs> the original Saw, the first one. And the reason why this one always kind of had an effect on me and stuck with me and had a special place in my heart is because it was refreshing in the gory horror type of genre. It was refreshing when it came out. Because the thing with horror movies that they tend to fall victim to a lot of the time is that they can be really really predictable like super predictable like you just instantly know what's gonna happen within the first five minutes of the movie whereas saw it constantly kind of kept me guessing like the ending of saw i'm not gonna give any spoilers away but i didn't expect that i know some people some super cool awesome people were like oh i totally knew that was gonna happen but i didn't i didn't know that was gonna happen okay so saw it just it's just always kind of stuck with me. After the first one and the second one, it kind of got a little eh. But the first one, I think, was absolutely awesome. It was extremely well written. The traps in the movie were extremely well thought out. I just, I love Saw. So that is my top five movies, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comment section what top five you would like me to do next time. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.